morning students in today's class we will study about the indian energy scenario from the biomass conversion course so as we all know what is the need of energy energy is the basis of life and what are the three basic essentials in life or human life food for growing and processing shelter for material and creating clothing growing and processing gainful employment it can be a cottage or home industry or an entertainment so these uses energy so different forms of energy potential energy kinetic energy mechanical energy chemical energy electrical power magnetic and electromagnetic radiations potential energy are stored energy example blazing sun stored water geothermal energy kinetic energy are the energy in motion or the flowing water from a dam can produce electricity so it is a example of kinetic energy similarly blowing wind can rotate the blades of the wind turbine which in turn create the electricity from the kinetic energy of wind mechanical shaft in ic engines produces rotates and it produces energy chemical energy chemical energy present in the plants produces food from the process photosynthesis electrical power ab power or solar solar pv power from electric machines magnetic or energy from magnets electromagnetic radiations radio waves x rays uv radiation etc so transformation and conversion so potential energy can be converted to kinetic energy so store example the best example of that is the stored energy stored water in a reservoir if it flows when the do- dam is open it flows and the hydroelectric power generation is happening direct energy conversion and indirect energy conversion so if we take example stores one and source two if the source one is directly utilized by the end user then it is direct energy conversion and the source two is converted into source k then it can be utilized for any processing we call that as indirect energy conversion if we take energy and environment or any industrial inputs has energy water chemicals raw materials so it is given input to the industrial processes which produces products and it gives us solid liquid and gaseous waste during the processing so direct and indirect energy waste and air emissions from the process also takes place so that are the these are the outputs of the industrial processing this can be calculated from sanke diagram so you will see in the later classes principal pollutants produced from by industrial domestic and traffic sources are carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrous nitrogen oxides particulate matter carbon monoxide ozone hydrocarbons benzene 13 butadiene toxic organic micro pollutants lead and heavy metals so from this 
pollutants it causes greenhouse gases greenhouse gases is only 1% of the atmosphere they act as a blanket so they will not and ex- uh, leave the unwanted uv radiations to the earth carbon dioxide from the combustion of coal oil and natural gas methane from farming activities changes in land use nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides released from industries and other gases such as fluorides from the use of rayons in refrigerators etc are the main sources of greenhouse gases what causes the greenhouse gas effort effect plastic firm cleaning agents refrigerants propellant gases deforestation is also an important source the main source of greenhouse gases production of electricity from fossil fuels oil coal and gas and other sources also so this diagram shows the greenhouse effect or greenhouse gases are present in the atmosphere as thick layer the short wavelength of sunlight falls on the earth surface surface and it convert as long 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 wave radiations so which will not be allowed by the greenhouse gases to escape from the earth surface so that's why the co2 concentration in the atmosphere is rising the solar radiation passes through the clear atmosphere incoming solar radiation is 343 watt per meter square so outgoing solar radiation is only 103 watt per me- per meter square the net incoming solar radiation is to 240 watt per meter square solar energy is absorbed by the earth surface and warms it 168 of watts per meter square net outgoing integrated radiation is 240 watt per meter square surface grains more heat and infrared radiation is emitted again some of the infrared radiation is absorbed and reentwined by the greenhouse molecules and the direct effort is the warming of the earth surface and atmosphere some of the infrared radiation passes through the atmosphere and is lost in spaces so this is diagrammatic representation the solar radiation falls on the earth surface and 45% is reflected but due to co2 the remaining percentage is inside the atmosphere only acid rain caused by release of so oxides of sulfur and oxides of nitrogen which then mix with water to form acids effects of acid rain acidification of lakes streams and soils release of metals washing away of nutrients killing wildlife decay of building health problems evidence and effects of climate change increase in global temperature severe storms and flooding food shortages dwelling freshwater supply loss of biodiversity increased diseases